I am in a season of having to replace a few items in my wardrobe because I've gained a bit of weight and that's cool. I just want a wardrobe that I feel comfortable in and that I feel that I look good in. And so a few more pieces. I've sold quite a bit of Zara and some items from Zara sell very well on Poshmark. And I love that. However, I don't want to replace what I sold with the same old quality and the same old things that I found myself not liking in two or three months. So my goal is to try on the things, if they don't work, to return ASAP. I don't wanna hesitate, I don't wanna think about it. I don't wanna have it stuck in my mind for days and I end up missing the return window. So we try today, we request a return online today, we ship back to Zara tomorrow. Now, I am a person who admittedly really loves Zara. I know there are a lot of people who talk about minimalism and capital wardrobes and buying fewer things and higher quality. And I do want to practice that, but I feel like sometimes a few fast fashion items help to update maybe a high quality minimal wardrobe. So your capsule or your minimal wardrobe or your high quality pieces don't look like a moment in time, like you were stuck in the eighties or the 90s or the early 2000s, unless, you know, that's what you're going for. But I don't wanna be so stuck in fewer, higher quality items that you can look at my wardrobe and select the decade that that look is coming from. Not That's not necessarily my goal. I understand some people really like some particular periods in time and they like those threads to be in their wardrobe. But I do believe your wardrobe can get a little stale if you don't have an eye towards trends, not to say that you have to participate in all the trends, but awareness of them and an awareness of modern cuts and designs, this will allow you to cultivate your wardrobe so you have that balance of high quality pieces that will stand the test of time and a bit of a modern edge. So on the rack, I have one shirt and three dresses and one jumpsuit. After steaming these items, I'm a little doubtful that they're gonna work and I anticipate that I'll return the majority of this. And if that's the case, I may take a break from Zara Online and may opt to purchase in store. I have to say once I purchase something in store, if it's from a fast fashion brand or a mall brand, I'm more likely to keep it because I've had a chance to look at it in person, feel the quality, try it on, and sometimes with your online orders, you don't necessarily get what you anticipated. And there's one dress on this rack in particular that I already feel like I'm a bit disappointed with, but let's try it on. So dress one, dress one, here it is in an extra large. I purchased the large and the extra large. The one I thought I tried on first was the large. It was not, so I'm not even gonna embarrass myself by trying to squeeze into that sausage casing. So. I do believe that this dress will require shapewear in order to have the effect that I want. I like the neckline. I have a short sleeve dress that's similar, but why not have the option to have a short sleeve version, a long sleeve version. The shoes are J. Crew, many years old. I thought about selling because the heel height is really high for me right now, but I just decided to keep them there. They're too good to let go. But they are definitely Carter curb shoes, not walk around the venue trying to look cute. Carter curb, sit down somewhere, take a picture. That's it. Okay, dress one. I was so ready to hate this damn dress. So ready to hate it. And let me tell you why. It is designed well i have to say i love the cut of it it seems to be 50s inspired which is a decade that i love to draw fashion inspiration from i think this is something that maybe if it was floral or a solid color my great grandmother would love to wear and she is my style icon to this day but let's get into the issues with this dress. It is, I would say paper thin, but no, it's paper towel thin. Taco Bell napkin taking the plies apart 
thin. It is ridiculously delicate and thin and it's supposed to be cotton. I would love everything about this dress if it was a heavier weight cotton. For example, there was a dress that I purchased from a Target collection that is a similar cut and is such a vibrant color and such a quality heavyweight cotton or midweight cotton. Let me go find that one. This one. This is a Target dress. This is a Zara dress. The quality cannot compare. The tag is Alexis, I believe. I wasn't familiar with the designer before the collaboration, but I love the color of this dress and the quality is amazing. The one I have on, not so much. Now, another reason that I'm so mad at this dress is how they got me was the doggone thing has pockets. How, how dare they? How dare you, Zara, with these damn pockets? I'm so mad. I love it. I love the look. I don't know where I'm going in a animal print dress. It is so thin that it makes me angry. I am wearing a half slip and a black ribbed cami from H&M. It requires good foundation garments, just like the first dress. I am more open to wearing a half slip than shapewear any day. I could wear a half slip every day, half slip and cami. Now, would I be wearing heels like this every day? Absolutely not. And where would I wear this dress? I would definitely wear it on a vacation, a night out, going to brunch, a shower of some sort, baby engagement, wedding, all, all, the, all the things I would wear it. I was sure that this was the piece that was going to go back immediately. Get, get, get your stuff, get, get your return information and get on out of here. But it looks like this one is, it's gonna stay. So I am happy to find out that this was a hit and I don't have to return or exchange. And it goes well with my little shoes that I picked up from JCPenney. It's been a while. It was early fall when I got these and they're about three inch heels, so I can't say they're comfortable, but you get the job done. Don't try to run a marathon in them. I like it. I like the dress. It stays. Now this jumpsuit was on an earlier order than the rest of the items that I showed. And I was sure that I was going to keep this one. But after inspection, I don't like how the stitching is done in the midsection. It's really off. I don't know if you can see it on this side here, here, but it's so poorly done. I don't think it could even be corrected by a tailor. The area was cut poorly and then sewn over poorly. And from a distance, it looks fine. And that's the thing with buying fast fashion. The quality control person is you. They're trying to get it out to market and it's about speed and producing. Get it off those shelves, make the money, keep it moving. It's hard because I do really like it. I think the proportions work for me as a petite person. Even without the cuffs, the length is okay. I would still cuff it. I would not bother to have this tailored. I love these little gussets here. I think it's super cute. It is big on the size and so you will need something underneath a cami or something or even a t-shirt it actually looks good with the t-shirt with a bit of a sleeve i'm on the fence with this one because i'm running out of time i'm about to travel soon and so i don't think i'll have time for zara to get another one to me so it's kind of now or never keep this one or let it disappear into oblivion but i guess i could order one more have it overnight to me tomorrow, compare them, ship the one that doesn't look good back to Zara. Last item. And it's a no. When I saw this on the hanger, when I hung it up on the, on the rack there, I was like, maybe, maybe it would be nice to add some cream hues to my wardrobe, but I haven't really been able to master the cream brown looks. I do like a balloon hem. 
I think it looks kind of futuristic. It feels okay. It feels kind of like you're wearing a sheet. I mean, a nice sheet. You know, pretty good. You can sleep well in it. You know, it's a little noisy. You would definitely need to have a bandeau or a camisole, something under this because it's peekaboo on the sides. But it's a really modern, almost futuristic shirt cut. It looks like something you would see on a sci-fi show. Also, if I were to wear makeup, I don't like shirts that will touch my chin. This will not work well with your makeup. I can definitely see it just rubbing up against this all day and just ruining this quick. Maybe I'll try it with another pair of pants. Let me try another pair of pants. Now these pants, these pants are my M.M. LaFleur Ride or Dies. And they have died twice and I have revived them twice. I just took them to the tailor to get the, what do you call, it's not hook and eye. I don't know the name of the closure, but I just had it fixed because I need these in my wardrobe. They may not be trending with the bright leg crops. I have no idea. I know that they are going to be in my wardrobe trending or not. I've had these for at least five years, maybe seven, I don't know, but it's been a minute. And I purchased them at a period where I was going to professional conferences that were very much formal dress attire and I needed suiting. And M.M. LaFleur allowed me to order multiple items and try them on and provide a deadline for you to mail them back and keep what you wanted. And it was just an excellent source of workwear, very professional, high quality workwear in a hurry. Now, there are exceptions to my natural fiber rule and things from M.M. LaFleur, my occasional exception. I find their pieces to be exceptionally well made and they travel well. They look very professional. And these, these are right or die. Like I keep talking about my weight issues and they're still rocking with me. They rock with me. Uh, literally thick or thin, literally thick or thin. And right now we at thick. With this shirt, ooh. So if I had like a, a cami, if I had something under this, I feel 100% comfortable with this look. So I revise my statement. I would even invest in getting, if I could get my arms through it, I would invest in getting this taken up just a hair. So it'd be less peekaboo on the sides. Of course, I'd have to acknowledge that I couldn't wear it with makeup, but I can't deny that I like this look. Don't have a lot of cream in my wardrobe. Pairs well with black. If I could get the sleeves, well, temporarily wear a cami and get the sleeves touched up a little bit. I'll keep it, it stays. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a future video. If you enjoy style videos, I'll leave a playlist for you right here. Thanks and I'll see you again soon.